Hey guys, Andy, and we are back after a long, long break away. A um, couple of reasons being is one, I've moved. You'll see sort of a new setting behind me. Um, I had a couple of personal issues going on with health and other things as well. Um, they're sort of slowly panning out now. But also because this FIFA has been a little bit strange in terms of making coins, um, you know, the meta whatnot like i've sort of slowed down on tactics because everything is just so vanilla this fifa that i found it's sort of gifted you so this video is about bronze pack method and sort of what you want to be doing leading into team of the season team of the year even um bronze pack method is back um the reason i've not done videos like this um this year is because it's been pretty dead and with them getting rid of the 400 coin packs and only having the 750 coin packs um it's been a bit harder to make your money if you like now uh you know i, I made about three and a half million at the beginning of the year um just buying fodder and then selling it when it was high wasted it all on packs got nothing um and then i had eight thousand coins left and I, I honestly i've sort of dwelled around there i've not needed coins um this year but you know i've started to top up a little bit because it's always nice to have a little surplus now i could make more um by selling players so i mean just to sort of look at my squad this year i've, I've done quite well um in terms of what's going on so i've done a lot of sbcs um I, first icon ever um that i've pulled out a non-icon pack and i've pulled cannavaro this year tradable and i've pulled cliver untradable um i've got kessier that i could sell if i wanted to um i think the only other player i've got tradable is tierney everything else is untradable and my club at the minute is absolutely dead and buried so i haven't got too many tradables um that are worth much of anything and i've got no fodder like the rest of us because it's all in packs and sbcs um, and one thing that I've not done this year is get rid of my promo cards. So there's a lot of promo cards in here that are dead. Um, there's the Kaka SBC uh, that I want to do at the minute. Uh, but I'm going to wait until team of year next week, next Friday, or whenever it is, when everything's in the packs. And then I shall burn through um, my packs. And I'll do the Kaka SBC. So um, <laughs> at the minute there's a lot going on um a lot of sbcs a lot of it's sort of teaching you to suck eggs but for those that don't know so there's been bronze pack method um which is basically you buy bronze packs and then you cycle them now at the minute like i say i was on about eight thousand coins and since friday i've built up to about 300k which is not too bad going now obviously there's better methods um you know even with silvers buying low selling highs always going to be the best one flipping cards um Especially with marquee matchups and objectives, things along those lines. But anyway, we've also got the league SBCs, which this plays a factor in. So the first thing I'd say to do is if you're sat there now and you've got a club full of players, like if you look at mine uh, club, I've got a thousand items. Uh, that's come down significantly with all the um, SBCs that we've had. I've wasted some on the icon pack and got Lineker um but <clears throat> if you go to my packs i've got about 100 packs saved okay so i'm just doing sbcs but anyway we've still got leagues now what i'd do is go through your club at the minute and i'm not gonna be able to do anything for you here whatsoever without getting rid of special cards which i'm not going to do go through each and every single one of these leagues um until you can either can't complete them or you can okay once you get to the stage where you can't complete them what you want to do now is keep one or two in your head so like for the era divisor i need bronze and silvers um from the same club so just pick a team that you've got the most players from you tricked in this case and then as you're doing your bronze pack method all you need to do is keep an eye out for that one flag and then you'll be able to fill this in so you're ticking off your um, league same with the mls i've done the same again um i need a couple of players now i could fill uh the players in here if i wanted to buy them off the market but there's no point as such so 
that's generally the first thing you want to do is just go for all these league SBCs, fill as many out as you can. Obviously, don't use anything um, too high. And then you don't want to keep too many in your head, too many teams. Um, Sudamericana is a bit of a waste of space and time anyway. Um, the other one's not too bad, the Libertadores. Um, I've been saving the wrong team. Fantastic. So, um, But yeah, Jim... Just go through, fill all these out the best you can. And even if you've not got the players, and say you've got something like this where it, you know it's built up um, half and half, that's absolutely fine. Okay, keep a mental note of a couple of them teams, and then you want to get into your bronze pike method. So generally what it is, you need, I'd say if you've got 70,000 coins, you're golden. Um I started on 8,000. I have literally, when I first heard out Bond's pack method, I started on 400 coins. I had no coins. I had about four, 500 coins. I bought one pack, doubled mid profit, and then bought two packs and so on. So generally, you want my transfer list at the minute. I've got 60 selling. Okay. Uh, I've got a couple of golds up here, and there's a couple of these golds that will not sell in the bin on, but everything else is practically bronze. Okay. So one's just sold there. So what are you doing? You buy a bronze pack. So I mean, I think 10,000 coins is enough because basically what you want to do, the faster you can fill up your transfer list, the better this is going to be for you. Because ideally you want 100 listed, relist them, and then keep going until they sort of dwindle down. So this guy, 600 coins. Now you can mess about if you want and, you know, wait wait for the snipes and whatnot. Uh, pseudo cards don't really sell. Uh, check them if they sell, they do. These guys only sells for 200 coins, but at the minute everything is generally selling. So build them up. But what you're looking for really is like this. I've got one here, Premier League players. Uh, no, it's not Premier League anymore, is it? In, they've been relegated West Brom players last year. So I get excited. But generally Premier League players are what you're looking for. Um, obviously, any of the top leads that have got a league SBCs tend to sell as well. But that's your money maker. So all you're doing is flipping coins. And sometimes you might not get anything like this guy. He's selling for 300 coins. Is he worth it? Probably not selling. What are you thinking? Well, hang on. You could have got 300 coins there. What I'll show you. This guy. Now, the reason I won't list this guy is when you scroll to the bottom, he's got another page and he's only at 39 minutes there so he's not selling All right, okay this guy i'll keep purely because that's the one team i'm keeping in the saudi league okay uh some badges and kits can sell uh sell french managers brazilian managers will sell so if any of them pop up uh check you can check your kits and badges i tend to not bother uh these days and you might go through a couple of packs that won't sell now i will sell this guy for 300 coins and I'll explain why I didn't sell the other guy who was still selling for 300 coins. Now, I don't need Saudi players at the minute. So he's down there. Somebody's undercut quite massively there. But undercut, but don't do it by a lot. Because somebody else, if you're pulling the same player over and over, and he started off life at 7,000 coins, and then you undercut to 1,000 coins, and then somebody comes in and cuts it in, so suddenly that player becomes worthless. Um, so undercut, so he was 700 coins there. You can, like, I could put him at 650, but make him a little bit more appealing. 600 coins, okay. Another bronze rare, uh, yeah, 400. I'd say if they're selling for 300, keep them, uh, 400 and above, sell them. That's only for your bronze rares, like, he's not selling. Goalkeepers, bit of a mess. Um, but then we get this guy who is selling a thousand coins. So buzz him. So on that pack, you make good money. Now you're thinking, well, hang on, you only made about 600 coins off one pack. You made a thousand coins off that pack, but you've bought four packs, which is more than you're worth. Yeah, you're absolutely right. As I say, this is not a quick process don't expect millions in a day now there are certain times and certain sbcs i should be keeping my uh, spanish players at the minute as well because that's all i'm looking for uh, there are certain sbcs where you, you can jump on this and make 
you know, 100k within an hour. Um, at the minute, because of Team Year and the simple SBCs, anything with decent links is selling. So basically, you do this until the morning comes. The morning comes. Um, so you've got a hundred on your list again nice thousand coins for him so you can see you're in the profit now it used to be better when you had the um the other packs the 400 coin packs but unfortunately we don't get those anymore so we have to make do but automatically like that pack doubled so this is what i'm saying like he's another player that i need um and this guy won't sell so you get the gist so you're just basically going through packs keeping what you want and selling everything else. I mean, if you're not bothered about League SBCs, you can, uh, if you wish, just sell everything. Uh, the only League SBC, even though it gives you good rewards, um, I'll keep this guy as well, uh, just to show you why in a second. Um, the Premier League does give you good rewards, and it's fairly easy to do. However, the, the um, silvers and bronzes sell quite high. So that's the reason why I don't bother. And you, as you're doing this, you'll notice this is why I say it's good to have a little bit of coinage. Uh, you know, you start as, like I said, as minimum. As long as you can buy a bronze bike, you're all right. Um, but you generally fill up your list. And then, you know, you might have 50 that are worth 200 coins. But then you might have 20 that are worth 600 coins. And then you might have, you know, um, another... 10 that are worth 3,000 coins and so on and so forth. So it, it filters out and every time that list clears, you'll just end up with more and more. And sometimes you'll get a pack that'll have two or three Prem players in it. And you're golden then, you, your coins will just shoot up. And as I say, it's not gonna make a millionaire overnight, but if you do this every day, I mean, if you sat there and you're doing nothing like, sort of I've got an hour to myself now, um, I'll sit, I'll do this for an hour, list up, come back in a bit relist them a couple of times and then come six o'clock content tonight uh, these will be flying out the window again because there'll be another daily sbc that just requires bronze teams and people are still buying golds and i don't know why but anyway that's enough so you're buying um your bronze pikes you're filling up your transfer list uh, once they've all sold i mean we'll have a look see if anything's sold at the minute six um my laptop is running like an absolute nightmare at the minute. I don't know why. Um, but, yep, you just go again. List up. Okay. So, why do they keep a couple of rares? So, even if you don't want to do a particular SBC. So, icons. So, I'm building into Kaka. So, have I done it? So, let's look at Vidic. These will give you a two rare gold player pack that is tradable. And I've had some good pulls out of this. So what you want to do is just drop in bronze rare, uh, build it out, and then look for anything that you don't want to be using. Like I know I don't want to be using him um, because he's one of my teams that I'm saving. Um, but anything else, like if you've got any, um, you know, English players or whatnot, you build that. I'm not going to do it right now, but you see, you get the gist. You'll get that two rare gold players pack. Then you can move on to silvers if you've got any silvers and do these as well. What you do with everything that you're sending back to your club is bronze upgrades. So again, you want to look like, because obviously there's going to be players in here that you want to keep. Um, so I, I like this one. That's a team that I'm saving. Um, so what you can do if you wish rather than just chucking all the bronzes in like that think of nations that you don't particularly want so um i have rinsed these so all this bronze commons uh, argentina is usually pretty shoddy and there's nothing there um what you can do as well is remember is as long as you've got the chem yeah uh, sorry, the nation and the links. You don't need the positions. So try another nation. Like I say, I've rinsed all these to get packs. Um, let's do Denmark. Usually have Denmark's pretty good. Chuck them up there, and chuck them up there. Okay, and then what, as you say, once you've been doing this a couple of hours, this is what you'll generally do. I, like I say, I've rinsed it already before I've done this video. 
but you'll generally go through, get rid of all the bronzes that you don't use, um, and then somewhere in here, oh, a B silver's pikes. Once you've done, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 100 of them. And then you might get something that belongs in one of the SBCs again. And then you just go again. So your league SBCs, you drop back to your league SBCs. Um, as you've seen me pull a couple. So here, yeah, we're getting there. Um, get rid of that club. Boom. And then we've got him there. And... Uh, we're almost there, so I need two players now. So that's built up, and that's generally it, guys. That is the gist of it. Um, what you can do then is once you've done all your leagues again and you've got the silvers, you can then move on to upgrades and just get rid of do do the silver upgrades again, and just silver commons, um, fill these out with players that are in off leagues again, players that you don't particularly need. And then they'll get you gold commons, and then you can either do gold upgrades, or they'll make it into, um, you know, these, uh, what do you call it, like live SBCs that we've got going on. I've not done that one yet, because for a rare gold pack, I'm not all that interested for what it requires. Um, but everything else, I mean, I've smashed through these marquee matchups, make sure you do them. But that's generally it with the bronze pack method, guys. So, and then you want to be saving any pack that you pull from the league SBCs for team of the year. Now you've got a week, so you could smash some squad battles out, um, get a couple of rewards from there. You've got your rivals, you've got your champs for next week. Um, you've got marquee matchups, which, uh, you know, people slate them. Uh, but at the end of the day, two of my icons have come from marquee matchups uh, this year, so I can't, I can't grumble. Uh, I don't spend money on the game. You don't need to spend money on the game. You, you looks in or you looks out. It's up to you. A friend of mine spent quite a bit on it and got nothing to show for it. I haven't spent anything, and I've got a couple of icons and you know fairly decent team. Yes, my club's dry, but next week I've got over 100 packs to open, so it'll be back again, and then any SBCs we can go. But with the bronze pack method, just to reiterate, um, get a couple of coins together. As I say, you only need a couple for packs. Um, do your league SBCs, build them out as much as you can. Um, then go to your bronze packs, buy them, list everything that's selling, save anything that you need that's going to get you, um, you know, a team built for your league SBCs. Um, once you've done that, um, you've listed everything, go back for your league SBCs again, use all the uh, non bronzes or the non league bronzes. Um, get them in silver upgrades, open all the silver packs, go back through your leagues again, um, and in the background while this is happening, all your bronzes are selling, and you're making some money, um, and then once you've done all the silvers, you've got some bronze rare stacked, you've got some silver um, stacked, go across to um, your any icons that you've not done, do the bronze and silvers for the two gold rares, um, they're tradable, if you pull anything big out of them, you're in the money, if not, you've got some fodder, if not, it's for a marquee matchup, um, and then go through dually silvers into commons. Your commons are going to then go into marquee matchups. Um, and your marquee matchups then give you even a larger selection of cards. And then again, you've got cards that you can cycle into another SBC. You can sell, you can stick into your team. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, I'm going to leave it there. I've rambled. If you've got any questions or you're unsure of anything, uh, pop it down below. Uh, as always, though, if you can like the video, uh, comment on anything you're unsure of. Uh, but the big one to me is if you can just subscribe. Also, if you've got any kids or little people, or even if you're a fan yourself, um, my little dude's living with me now. He does a lot of a um, lot of uh, Fortnite sort of TikToks and videos on here and things. So if you want to join in on the fun there, he's always playing on Xbox. You can join him there. Uh, brilliant. But other than that, guys, um, stay safe. Enjoy your gaming. Um, I hope you get something good out of your packs, but until the next time, uh, peace and love, guys.